Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Wait, am I in frame? <laughs> hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name's Chris. Um, I also go by Critifer Online. Uh, it's Critifer. Uh, not Critifer or Tritifer. Critifer, just uh, another way of saying Christopher. Um, <laughs> and welcome to my first playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I've been very excited for this game ever since uh, Remake. Finished that game. That game was incredible. Um, I have high expectations for this. Uh, remake was so good. And I really don't know how it just would get better. Like, Remake was such a great game. I can only imagine that Rebirth just going to be an even better game. I think all we gotta do is uh start all right so before we do this um before we start the playthrough um i've actually already watched my friend play the opening to to uh rebirth because um i didn't get the didn't get the the night of so i decided to just watch the first few minutes of my friend playing but um yeah i don't have a genuine reaction to this opening but just bring everyone up to speed uh, we start the game with Zack uh, and what's going on with his timeline. Um, we got Zack bringing Cloud to uh, Sector 5. Um, Cloud, or Zack and Cloud uh, come up to like this big crowd watching over the big screen. And on the big screen, we're just talking about um, uh, the current events, which was like by a big flame tornado of sorts, I think. I don't know. Uh, but we, the most important thing, we see that Tifa, Barrett, uh, Aerith, and Red are seen dead. Um, like, no survivors. And, you know, obviously, uh, if you guys know Zack and Aerith's relationship, um, Zack goes into gung-ho mode. And, uh, he gives Zack, or not, not, he gives Zack, he gives Cloud to Kyrie. And Zach beelines over to the location, the helicopter location, and we got to play as Zach. What? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I, yeah, I love Zach. Um, anyways, so uh, Zach makes his way over to Earth, over to the uh, helicopter, and we basically save her. And we fight some Shinra soldiers, and we uh, can only save Aerith. Uh, man, R.I.P. to Red. He has some life in him. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we save Aerith, and Zack thinks everything is uh, all messed up. And from there, we uh, come back to Cloud and the gang, and we are going through the Nibelheim flashback. Um, I've already played through this um because you know there was a demo for this section and i'm just gonna assume everyone has already seen this part so i'm really just gonna start our playthrough right where the demo ended um and all right and everything else from here should be my first time seeing hope you guys enjoy the rest of the playthrough here we go oh sick <coughs> All right, now we're back. Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Now this is some new stuff. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad. It oh was no. Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs>
I have come for you. Now open the way for me. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Typically, get up. It's just a scar. who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. There you go. There she is. Did they make her blonde? You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Holy shit, dude. And that's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't <laughs> say that. What I meant was... <laughs> screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, 
He's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? After five years doing who knows what. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. There needs to be a scene. Tifa and Aerith. Tifa just doing the classic bat crap. To Aaron. <laughs> oh no, you don't. That bad's <laughs> Don't know. See it tomorrow. <laughs> that bird's great. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Oh. The girl the girl gossip is starting. Oh, wow. This is looking pretty cool. All right, we got healing, fire, assess. Oh, we got Chocobo Moogle, Shiva. Oh, yeah, aren't we supposed to get... There we go. Talisman for Moogle, Child of the World Collecting Rare, as... Chance, uh, okay.
Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. <gasps> Nani? You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Oh man, no now he's getting in his head. What is she? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Pardon me, sir. But you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Does he not have his own room here? Hmm. Dang, they are here. It's probably like midnight or something out here. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! Oh, man. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. No, Cloud. <laughs> Don't mess up with the waifu. No. Dang it, man. Don't fumble this, Cloud. could just pick up where we left off like nothing had changed but I guess I was wrong guess so I was so happy to see you again but maybe I shouldn't have been
Damn it, Cloud. Uh, we're back to square one. To fight. No. Don't you say that, Barrett? We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> Red 13 is just acting like everything's the same. Here we go. This is probably where we can finally explore calm. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Queen's blood? Is that the card game? Find other players. Around the world and challenge them to match it. Should you win, they will give you new cards to add your collection. Few players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents at different times. Oh, all right, mini game time. Why not? Okay. I'm not gonna finish the match because I'm just gonna be bopping. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlight tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay. This card is placed as power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power. While the positions while the positions a card wait of its power while the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Next place a card that so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Uh oh this one? When one of your card's position tiles overlaps with the position you control, the position arises in rank, as there are two pawns on that tile on that position is ranked 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of pawns in this top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you will have to raise the rank of your positions. Ooh, I can probably play Riot Trooper now. Mm. As you now have a rank two position, try placing your rank two card on. It. When one of your card's positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as yours. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise this rank. Okay. Hmm. 
figure out who's winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. The numbers on the left represent your power, which while ones on the right represent your points. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more ways than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you pass with triangle. When both players pass consecutively, the game will end. Huh. So... If I place... Security on here... That levels up everything. What? Yeah, that becomes two. scared we'll do this ah there we go okay oh no not good All right, here we go. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm doing. He won the bottom. Did I win? Once the game's over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with a higher power in a lane has their power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, it's less than your opponent's power in the same lane. It will not count towards your score. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure I won. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 flight, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Wait, that's what happened in Zack. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 flight, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. That's what happened in. That's what happened with Zach's time. Why, why are we hearing it here? What? Good morning, sir. Are they already messing with us? I apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Broden. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, 
But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Let's go, Red. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hm. Bill Rick's got a backbone. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher the level, the more skills and more abilities. All right. Oh, wait, there's Tifa. Is it okay if we come get her? Oh my god. Okay, now we're... Woohoohoo! Alright! Yeah, let's just go to Tifa. Oh ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh! Tifa! No! No! Look, look. You know about last night, alright? Let's just, uh... Forget that happened. Morning. Morning. Everyone's kinda off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Oh! Yeah. Place I made that promise. Oh! I was timed! Remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Cause actions affect his relationship with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L to view Comrade's feelings toward Cloud as indicated by symbols such as... Oh, I didn't know that was... Wait, L1? This is such a quiet, peaceful town. The hell? What's going on here? She's late. Too late. Or am I here too early? Was getting here a day ahead of time overkill? Maybe I got a little carried away with this whole proposal business, but the weekly horoscope was crystal clear. Preparation is key. How else am I supposed to interpret that? Uh, oh, oh. Is it a flash ball? She's late. Too late. What is this? Mm. 
It looks like it's like a practice. And don't forget to smile. Oh. Make sure you stay on the beat. Holy shit, man. It's so lively. Oh, here's Barrett. Of course. This is only the moment. Look who it is. You up already? Drink it already? Ha. No, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. You gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. Got a long road ahead of us. Better make sure you're prepped for the journey. Welcome! You around here, I take it? Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7... Oh man, this reminds me of just any brewery I would go to. Oh, this is so After cool. Not gonna lie, I thought that said Jameson. <laughs> oh, what's down here? Oh, nothing. Oh, I just, my, <laughs> my head did not register all that brightness. Jesus, that was bright. Whoa. I feel like Aerith would be here. Holy sh! Oh my God, man! There's a nice breeze today. This is a game. I am playing with this controller. I am moving. This is this is crazy. You heard what happened in Midgar, right? Some reactors were bombed, a plate fell, and then a tornado rolled through town. Taken all together, it's enough to suggest the whole world's coming to an end. So what? The apocalypse comes and you decide you want to spend your final moments with me? Huh, that's weirdly romantic. What? This Square Enix, stop doing this. I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Dude, this is just... I'm still... This is crazy. Morning! What do you want to do today once everyone gets here? We're gonna play hide and tickle today. Cause we played Brad Race yesterday. Right? We are. Don't worry. We'll decide who 
forget when the others come. <sighs> That's the 27th time I've bombed the interview. I'm never gonna get the job at this rate. I just wish I knew what I was doing wrong. Why are you so hung up on getting a job in Midgar? Just take over your family's business. Besides, you've already built up a life here. No, I've dreamt of being a honey boy my entire life. And I'm not gonna give up now. Morning! What do you want to do today once everyone gets here? We're gonna play hide and Looks like he needs a... Uh, uh, he needs a referral from us. Andrea will gladly take it. Oh! Put that on for now. Oh, it's like a little mini. Wow, this is so cool. My boy and I had a big falling out. We moved to Midgar because of it. Where it is, he's a well known singer now. A Cure concert? All right, kid, let's go. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? Excuse me? <laughs> All right, you little kid. I'm gonna make you go crying home to your mama. And that's all my mama. If you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. As you cannot play high rank cards right away, it's often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting one that will help you early. Wish to mulligan. Is this one? Oh, that's on a bigger board. Okay. I was going straight for it. God damn. Uh, oh, okay. Um. Things I can't play any. Oh, okay, I guess we'll just do this for now. He doesn't have anything on bottom, which is good. Not good. Not good. Okay. Oh, so he can't play on that, right? You're getting cooked.
Like, he can't play anything there, so I might as well... Yeah! Alright, okay, okay. I see the vision! Let's go. Nice! Oh, if they're equal, they cancel each other out. Yeah! Nice, Cactar. Raise the power of allied cards of affected tiles by three. Wow! Phew, this guy packs one hell of a fun. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about up in your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I'd bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> What is he crying you about? Like murder me. Oh god, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. I think I'll walk the other way. Look, it's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me crybaby. <laughs> This is amazing. Let's see. We'll take let's take off one queen bee. I don't think we need um Let's replace Queen uh where's Queen Bee? Oh we have two? Let's take out both Queen Bees. I don't think we have big enough um big enough rows yet. Dude, I kind of, I kind of hope this guy's like actually talks while we play. That'd be pretty fun. Right. Uh, all right, let's do that. My turn. Let's do. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, I already see the vision. Boom. I already see it. And then... Boom! Oh, he's cooked. Oh my god! Cactar is so good! I just have to get the bottom, right? He can't play, right? Dude! <laughs> it's, it's over for this guy. Call me Yami Yugi, my dude! Part of the cards! Let's go! Oh.
Nice. Oh God, I lost. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. That is good advice. It is pretty healthy to cry. Ooh, we got one more dude. We're getting him. Where is that for me? Just straight ahead. No, no. This way, this way. We're already minigame hunting. This is great. <laughs> the minigame so... Just this minigame being this fun, man, I can't wait for the others. I seriously cannot wait. What the? Got a whole bo What? What is this? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Ugh. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh. Come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Oh no. The voice is getting me. I think a week to the voice. Her voice is. Oh Jesus. <laughs> if she beats me, I'm bowing down. A screamer? Alright, what do we get? This sounds really good to use. So let us. Oh, we need to get rid of like the one power ones. Let's get rid of one of this and add one of that. That sounds good. Ah, no, I, that one looks really good. Okay. Oh, already. We're off to a good start already. I see it. I see it. Bada boom. Come on. And we're gonna play it down here. Dude. Already. Oh wait, this is a two pawn. Uh we're gonna play. Boom. Boom. No problem. It's okay. Mm. Mm. Dude, this is overkill. <laughs> and we'll just put a measly soldier up there. Or trooper. And and that's the game. Mm. 
Jesus! Oh, he'd be a really good mid card. Wow. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Whoa, it's like. <laughs> Whoa, it's like neatly put together the back, all the cardboard boxes. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. She's a yonder there. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no, she's hot. Just gonna... Alright, seems like we got those out of the way. Now let's, uh... Ooh, almost missed this. Oh, there these guys are. Excuse me, sir, but the tower's not open yet. Dang, big ass Moogle. by the look of it but saying that it's still only a shadow of what it could be with a little love that baby will sing if you like i could show you oh yes the upgrade is so good adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills as well as stat boost allowing you to customize your party to suit your play style changing a character's weapon will not reset this level Dude, presentation right here. Look at this. Dude, this can easily... Square Enix can, like, sell this thing and make, like, a spinning um stand. Easy merch, dude. This is so cool. What? Here you'll find a list of available skills. Select weapon ability damage, 5%. What? As you increase your weapon load, you will learn more skills and unlock more nodes in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to... Whoa. Can I remove? If you would prefer a more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. This can be done from the auto upgrade settings menu. Choose how to auto optimize your weapon skills using the three available options prioritize attack, defense, or strike and bounce between the two. The game will continue to automatically adjust your loadout based on your upgrade settings. Wow! See? what I tell you? That girl is singing and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, alright? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Nobody can be found in treasure chest during a child's budget. Should you happen to miss one, local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Oh, that's convenient. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. 
Ooh. Ah. Firebolt blade and beat your sword with fire lightning when slicing a foe. Can you... Oh, I need to get that. You take care of that weapon now. Comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeat or immediate proficiency bonus can it will increase your even when you don't have the corresponding weapon equipped. Oh, yeah. Just like the last game. Can I replace this? Ooh. This is awesome. I, we, we didn't even fight anything yet. We just been. This has literally been just awesome. Didn't even fight yet. This tank allows us to live in comfort with every... Oh, there she is. Uh huh. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So, what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards. Wanna climb the clock tower together? <laughs> if I have to. Fine. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Alright, go, Earth. Judging from that outfit, the manager is really into planetology. Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. So skill points at Magnata Books location auto mats to... Oh, okay. Increases their stats and we're teaching them new abilities. Whoa! This is. Whoa! Orange skill cores can be unlocked. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. For now, move to the skill on upper left. Wow! Firework blade? Oh, yeah, this is the. Sick. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when. Death the character strengths to suit your play style. Our level creates more skill cores. Character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the art of sword play. Can be reset anytime we'll be returned. Oh, okay. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Those folios are too much for me. I can't understand them at all. Alright, let's go to our little clock tower date. With Aerith. You know, I thought Calm was some hick town in the middle of nowhere. That's a price. So, what's new? Whoa. Oh, booster set. Oh, we're about. Let's buy this. Oh, there's another one. Let's buy it.
Let's get started then, shall we? Hold it in. Hold it in, Chris. You're a Tifa man. Finally, we're in. It's crowded today. So, um, they say if you go to the top and tell someone how you feel, you'll live happily ever after. Sorry, but uh, I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Eric always knows. Shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <gasps> God damn it. We are looking for Cloud Strife. I get it. I hope Kunsol isn't one of these guys. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Holy shit, dude. Just what do you think you're gonna go? Move along. Ah, there you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence, please. This town suffered enough. Really? Tom's looking pretty. Oh, Calm was looking calm before the storm. Follow me. <laughs> I know I saw 
some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else and stop wasting our time. We stop crouching. <laughs> oh my goodness. That went well. The end's not much further. But stay on your toes. a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Oh, that was from the demo. Okay. Why are you doing this? You could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Huh. Wait, hold on. Before we leave Aerith, <laughs> gotta learn how to use this thing. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmute transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can create. These are the materials and necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements. Or transmuting a potion. During an item for the first time grants EXP, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Cool. Through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found in the, out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. All right. Oh. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh. Huh? Nani? Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> oh, Tifa. That... It's not what it looks like, uh, Tifa. Uh... <laughs> Didn't even evolve him. Bring up the rear and ensure the others make it safely through. Excuse what? They were taking too long. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me.
Hold on, guys. Tell me it's the full open world. Holy shit. Just look at it all. It's so green. We're getting lost. <laughs> We're getting lost. Living, We're never going to progress it. the main story at this point. Even Barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right. Lead the way, Red. All right, let's get this show on the road, people. All right, that's all we got for part one, guys. Um, just a small introduction to the world of Rebirth to get us ready for the huge open world part of the game. Um, I'm really excited to see what this game has in store, and I hope you guys are as well. Uh, here's just a small little snippet for the next part where we get to explore the region, do the various side quests and the uh, collectibles and all that jazz. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next part. Peace out.